Hello everyone. In this video, let us discuss about association mapping in Hibernate. Association is a concept which deals with the dependencies between classes. Say for example, I have a student class and address class. Student has two instance variables, student ID and department. An address has instance variable as address ID and city. Now, if I add address as a property to student, it means student depends on address object. One student object has one address instance variable. This is called as association mapping. The relationship over here is one to one. Now, let me have one more class courses. In courses, let me have two instance variable in course ID and string course name. As per my application, one student can take any number of courses. So, in the student class, I am going to add a list of courses. So, the relationship over here is one student can take any number of courses. So, it is one to many. Suppose say, in case of courses, if I am going to have a list of students, list student, the meaning over here is one course can be taken by any number of students. So, the relationship over here is many to many. It means one student can take any number of courses, one course can have any number of students. So, the four main type of association mapping are one to one, one to many, many to one and many to many. In case of one to one, let us have an example as one student having one instance of address. In case of one to many, one publisher publishing many books. In case of many to one, many books published by one publisher. In case of many to many, one student taking many courses and one course taken by many students. So, these are the four different type of association. If you talk in terms of JDBC, when we are working with multiple classes, it is our work that we need to give the primary key foreign key relationship. But when we are working with multiple classes in case of Hibernate, Hibernate is responsible for establishing the relationship between the classes. So, for example, in case of one to one, address ID will be added automatically to the student table. In case of one to many, publisher ID will be automatically added to books table. In case of many to one, it is the same thing. Publisher ID will be automatically added to the books table. In case of many to many, a common table will be created with the student ID and the courses ID. So, we don't have to bother about creating the tables with foreign key constraints. So, in the upcoming videos, let us discuss these associations one by one. That's it. Thank you.